Welcome back everyone. A quick reminder, uh, Week Fest is right around the corner. It's in two weeks. Uh, my car is going to be showcased in the event. It's December 3rd in Houston. I'll put the information down in the description. So please come out, show your boy some love. And yeah, but today, what we got today, Bonnie, for your car? Uh, I got a 2013 Honda Civic. As you saw a couple videos before, I put a Mugen style yeah. uh, wing on it. It's pretty big wing. Uh, but right now, I'm taking off the plastic dip off my rims and just restoring it, taking the curb rash off and painting over it. Yeah, so let's get started. So guys, just to give you an idea, uh, for this wheel, it is gold, like it was plastic dip gold. Um, the center of it piece was already gold. The lip itself, well, outside lip was silver. Uh, we're just gonna be cleaning all the plastic dip off, cleaning every little bit of it. Uh, we're gonna be taking off the wheel so it gives it a little more access, a little more freeway to actually do this repair. We are gonna fix the curb rash along the wheels, right up here. All these little curb rashes so we're gonna smooth that out with dremel sandpaper and if we need to fill it in with bondo we'll do a little bit hopefully we don't have to go that route um so guys i'm actually thinking about wrapping my car too uh i might do this matte gun metal like the holes or i might go with a psychedelic look um i have this fender right here that's a psychedelic it's dirty right now um at the end of the video we'll wash it up and we'll show y'all in the more of the sunlight so leave a comment below and let me know which one y'all like better for the Honda Civic. Okay, so we picked up the paint from Home Depot itself. We got the gloss black, Rosalion Professional paint. Um, it is oil based, which is perfect for the wheels. We also got goop off so we can remove the old plastic dip. We're gonna spray this on, let it soak, and then pressure wash it off. Get as much of it we can. The rest we're gonna go over with Dremel and sandpaper. So we got the first wheel off. Now we just gotta do the rest of the three. What's up everyone, welcome back. Uh, as you can see, we took off the wheels. Um, we're about to prep it, take off all the plastic dip. I want y'all to know that this one's actually painted. Um, I got hit a couple months ago and the dealership painted it and plastic dipped it. So don't think that we're just too lazy not to take off the plastic dip. Um, we'll check back after we finish prepping or we'll show you the steps. Yeah, basically we're just gonna show you guys the steps of how we're gonna remove the old plastic dip. As you can see, he already tried to remove some of it. Um, but it was all, it's a lot easier to do it with the wheels off the car. So again, that one's painted. So we're gonna do our best to uh, use paint there and get as much as much as it is off. And then we're just gonna do the rest over there. And see right now, we're using some paint thinner first before we actually use goo goth. Um, we want to try see if we can get most of it off with the paint thinner with the acetone. Uh, so then, so far, it looks like it's coming off right. Yep. Yeah, so far it looks like it's coming off. It's just taking time. It just needs to be soaked up a little bit. Because one, we're doing this all in the cold, so it is going to be a little bit harder. But as you can see, like up towards the top, like most of it's coming off, just taking a little bit of time. This one's going to be a little interesting. I'm really curious on how this one's going to be. We're going to try to spray this off with some goo go goof off. Again, it's goo gone, but you can, there's a couple versions of goof off and goo gone, whatever. So we're going to try that, let it soak up a little bit while we're doing with the paint thinner. Hopefully, it makes it a lot smoother. And so far, guys, just to give you a quick update, we've been using the goof off and the paint thinner at the same time, and it's actually taking care of most of all of it. Like, again, the centerpiece, the centerpiece already was already gold. Uh, the lip, again, was silver, like I told you before. And the rivets also were silver. So we're just making sure we get all that, all of the stuff cleaned up before we actually paint it, sand it up, make sure the wheels are nice and good. So that way it gives us a nice, better look. 
And we got Boney over here. He's a little struggling on his. This brush is falling apart. Look at it. He's getting there. He's getting there. But again, like, slowly but surely. So just a quick recap. We got all the, the plastic dip off. That, nothing would have come off. Um, but the rest of all the wheels, we got everything off. And now we are about to pressure wash it. Okay, so we finished cleaning up the front side of the wheels. Now we just gotta clean the inside part. Um, it was nice and it was nice and gunky up. So we're just gonna clean that up really well, making sure we do this right. But this is the before. How dirty and gunky it was. A little after, nice and well cleaned up. So that way, when we apply the paint, it actually sticks properly. All the wheels were nice and cleaned up. Um, we got all four lined up and ready to go. Pretty much all we have to do is, so there's a little bit of curb rash, like right over here, um, right over here, a little bit on the edges here. So what we're gonna do, we have a Dremel. We're just going to be using like a little sander that's on that Dremel, trying to see if we can make it nice and smooth out. We're gonna try and see if we can just go ahead and do this with all without Bondo. Just basically just doing the lip since that's pretty much where all the damage is. So we should be able to. We even got a little extra sand uh, sandpaper bits for the Dremel. So it should be pretty good. And afterwards, we're just gonna make it nice and smooth with 1,000, 2,000 grit sandpaper. We again, we just use the 60 grit um, sandpaper on the Dremel. And look how great and amazing this turned out. Like all the scuffs. All the curb rash is, is gone. All you gotta do afterwards is we're just gonna go down with the thousand or two thousand percent paper on the, what we did, make it nice and smooth. But oh my god, like all that's gone. Now all we gotta do is do the rest of these, and we should be good. Bonnie, what do you think? I love it so far. Let's get it done. We got everything masked up, ready to go, all four wheels. We even got the little wheel covers that go on it. And then this tow hook right over here. And again, we're also gonna put up on here. And we should be ready to start. <laughs> give you a quick update instead of having the wheels laid down we're actually gonna sand them up so it's a little more easier to get between the actual the the arches and the spaces there so that way we get smooth coatings Just to give you guys an, a quick update, we're at about four to five coats on for primer for these wheels, and about four to five primers for uh, the actual caps for the wheels. Uh, pretty much, they're turning out really well. Um, 
pretty much we're gonna do maybe like two, three more coats for the primer, and after that we should be set to uh, let that dry. We're maybe wet sanding that with 2,000 grits after the primer, because the primer gives like a little bit of texture afterwards. So once we sand that down again, then we should be able to apply the paint. Alright everyone, just to give you a quick update, we put about six to seven coats of primer on all four of these wheels and they turned out pretty good. And then same thing with those wh the wheel caps and then our little, little guy up here. So, so far that's good. We're just going to be cleaning up the, the gun and then we're going to be, we're going to wet sand this because we want to do this right. So right now it has a little aggressive texture to it. So we do want to sand it so it's nice and smooth. Okay everyone, so this is the final look of how the wheels turned out. They turned out really, really amazing. Again, it's pretty dark outside. As you guys can probably see, there's absolutely no lighting at all. So I wanted to show you guys how it turned out um, with the color, the gloss black. It turned out really well. All we gotta do is let it dry and after that we're gonna mount it to the car. And hopefully I'll tag some photos uh, after this video so you guys can see how it looks in the car. But that's basically it. Please share, subscribe, and like, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. See you guys.